What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are gonna be trying out just one product in particular today. It is the Clarisonic Mia Smart. I believe this is like a new Clarisonic or whatever. They recently sent this to me in PR and I mean, can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that Clarisonic sent me something in PR? Like, these things are fancy and I'm definitely not fancy. But in that PR package, they also sent over the foundation brush that goes along with it. Now, those of you that watch Tati Westbrook's videos will know that she friggin' swears by this thing. Like, this foundation brush is like her favorite way of applying foundation. So I thought I would test this guy out, see if it is worth the hype, see if it's worth the bloody money, um, and just see how it works. I look like I've been crying, but it's just my moisturizer. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying these guys out. I'm not gonna be reviewing this as like a skincare device because I mean, it'll take a little while for me to see how this actually works on my skin, but I will keep you guys posted. Mostly, we're just gonna be focusing on this guy here. I was about to say that I haven't opened this at all or anything like that, which I haven't, but now I'm thinking maybe I should have done because I don't know if I'm gonna need to charge this thing or not. Yeah, I better, I better check that actually. All right, so let's just crack into this bad boy. So this, I just looked it up online. This guy in particular retails for 185 pounds, which is very, very expensive. I'm also just gonna quickly check to see how much the little like brush thing retails for. Um, just a minute. Uh... Okay, got it. So this little brush head is 32 pounds. So again, like if you were just to buy a brush for 32 pounds, that would be like a pretty pricey brush. Like I think one of my favorite um, foundation brushes is like a tenner, 12 pounds, something like that. So this is still an expensive brush head. And obviously if you want to use it, kind of have to have this as well. So already I'm sitting here thinking, could any foundation brush ever be worth like quick mass, quick mass? Not so quick mass, 200 pounds. Let's just say a little over 200 pounds so that it's nice and easy and so I don't embarrass myself. So I mean, realistically, is any foundation brush ever worth over 200 pounds? In my mind, probably not. Some of you guys might disagree, but I guess if you already have a Clarisonic, 32 pounds, it might be a good price. The only way to find out is by getting this stuff on our face. So let's get into it. So this is probably the moment where I find out, oh, already, what's wrong with me? Why can I not have anything nice? I just rip everything all the time. This is probably the moment where I find out that I should have charged it beforehand. All right, so we've got a little bit of information here, I'm guessing. They have an app as well, which I will probably never use. Uh, it says quick start guide. Please let it actually be a quick start guide um, and not a charge it for four hours start guide. I'm, I'm, I'm already so confused. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. I've got the mint green one. It looks very nice. So I've had kind of dupes of the Clarisonic before. I've had like various facial brushes and stuff like that. I've had the Mia, I think it's called. It's like a bright pink one. I had the Mia years ago and I really did quite like that. So I'm assuming it'll be like a similar kind of setup. So it comes with one of the um, like cleansing brush heads as well. How do I fit this on? I'm probably gonna break something, aren't I? Okay, we've got a little charge dock thing, so we just slot him in there. Perfect. All right, so what the hell am I doing here? Allow approximately 18 hours for a full charge. Are you joking? Piss off. Does this, is that, is this actually not? It's working, it's working. Okay, cool, I was, I was worried about that. I was thinking, am I, am I literally gonna have to wait 18 hours just to do this bloody video? Like, that's the only reason why I came downstairs. Um. All right, I, I don't need to know about how not to electrocute myself. I just need to know how to do it. If I gotta download that bloody app just to do that? I think I do, you know? Before first use, charge for 18 hours. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna... If it works, I'm gonna use it. I ain't waiting 18 hours just to film this bloody video. All right, just so tell me I gotta download the app, so I guess I better download the bloody app. I hate apps. Okay, so it says, Enable Bluetooth on phone settings, attach brush head, and hold down the power button on device. Right, if I break this, I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be happy, am I? Oh, oh God, good job I didn't pull that thing out because I was like full on trying to, had like a little tab and I was trying to yank it out with tweezers. Don't do that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Looks very nice. So then we're gonna press the, I've got to turn on my Bluetooth, right, Bluetooth is on, and I've got to hold down that button, pair device. We're looking for each other. Come on. I'm I'm trying. I'm, I'm Does it work if you put phones close together? Oh god. <gasps> yes. Shut up. Thank you. We're looking for each other. Okay. We get each other. Okay, good. 
Um, now we can sink, reward, and glow. I just, I just want to use the bloody thing to be honest. Okay, attached brush head. Done that bit. Next, my name. My name Jeb. My name is Jeb. Oh god, now I've got to tell them. Go tell them all about my bloody skin. I just want to scrub my face. Okay, so on the app, this is now just turned into like an app review. Um, you can add a new routine. You can change like the way your skin is. It tracks like how many days you use it and how often you use it. Um, and then you can also set alarms so you get like little pings to your phone so that it kind of reminds you to cleanse, which is a pretty good idea. They've even got achievements. I love achievements. I love being told that I'm great. Looking for a new routine. Full coverage foundation blend. Blend each cheek, forehead, then chin, nose. Okay, it also says you can contour with this, so I'm gonna do that as well, I think. Um, I guess we just like, I guess we just get started. Like that was, there was so much faffing when I could have just gone. Oh God, what have I done? Ooh! I thought it was just gonna look like a buffing brush because I've had one other kind of like vibrating foundation brush before and it was just like a full on flat top brush kind of like this, but this one, I don't know if you can see the difference. It's a bit more like flimsy, it's a bit more softer. Um, and it has kind of like different length bristles on the end of it. So instead of it all just being one complete flat edge, it's kind of like a bit zigzaggy. That's probably not the right way to, to describe it, but that's what I'm gonna say. So I'm gonna put this on there. Try not to break it this time. Ooh. Okay, this one's different. Let me do some close-ups. Okay, so you press it on. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's just kind of kind of wiggling around a little bit. There are a few like stray hairs coming off. But okay, it seems to have stopped now. They just kind of like wiggled their way out there. So I don't really know what I'm doing. So the foundation that I'm gonna be using today is of course the Milani 2-in-1. I know it, I love it, it's one of my favorite foundations. The shade I have right now is 03 Light Beige. I don't have any fake tan on at the moment, so I'm probably gonna have to lighten this up a little bit. Let's have a little look, see. Um, yeah, I might add, might add a tiny little bit of like lightening drops to it. Because if we are going to contour as well, then that'll kind of bronze me up. I'm going to swirl that around. And normally I would just like pump it straight onto the foundation brush, but obviously I do want to kind of lighten it. So that's why I'm doing it this way. And then I'm just going to scoop some of that off and plop it on the brush. It's like the weirdest way I think I've ever put foundation on a brush ever. Okay, I guess, um... No. And then, because I nearly forgot, I'm gonna take my little cat ears, like so. Stunning. All right, Um, I guess all that's left to do is just try this bad boy out. So I guess turn that on. Okay, I was worried that the foundation was gonna start like spinning all over the place, but it's good, it's in place, it's not doing anything weird. Um, let's try it. It feels weird. It feels like I've got a vibrator on my face. Not that I would know what that feels like. Oh! Bloody beeping at me. Alright, we've got one hair that's just fallen off my face. Oh god, do not over oh god, do not over my nose. It's just awful. <sighs> Makes feel like I'm gonna sneeze constantly. Stop beeping at me. Okay, we have got some of the bristles falling off. We've got Yeah, we've got two falling off on my face right now. Can you just turn off? I'm gonna try the smart one now. Not the smart one, the gentle one. No, I like I like the daily cleanse one. Don't know how I expected me to do. All right, that looks okay. Right, I'm gonna stop that quickly because I'm gonna take some more. I was just gonna take a little bit of my Nip and Fab lightening drop, just kind of mix that around. Okay, on the brush. Here we go again. Right. Feels a little bit like. This is very weird. I haven't really said much while I'm applying it because, oh god, I hate doing it over my nose. Because, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. I need to have like a closer look in a minute to see what it actually looks like on my skin once I'm done. Let me see what the hell's going on here. Okay, it's blending it in. It feels nice to apply, like, apart from when it's over my nose. Stop doing that. It turns off after like a minute or two, I think. The bristles feel good, like I feel like if it was just a brush on a stick, if that's the right word for it, I would like it all the same. Um, it's easy to kind of like apply, but every so often I keep smacking my nose with like the side of this thing here. Okay, turn that off for a second. It does seem to look, 
it does look good, but my foundation normally looks pretty good when I just use like one of my Zoeva brushes. Um, I don't know. And that took me longer to apply than, say for example, this Zoeva brush. I just, I just really don't know if I'm honest. That's why I'm going over my face again because I can't really be certain. Like it does take a little while for it to kind of get rid of any like bristle marks in the foundation because obviously the bristles are more prominent than the normal buffing brushes I go for. I don't dislike it. I'm just kind of thinking to myself, Steph, how often are you gonna use this? Because realistically, I'm gonna use this and keep it in my bathroom and use it like as and when I need it to cleanse. So the likelihood of me like going upstairs and bringing it down every time I wanna apply my foundation and like changing the head and everything like that, I can't see myself using this that often. I mean, the finish it's given me on my foundation is really nice. I have no complaints about how it looks like on my skin at all, but I get this kind of finish a lot with this foundation. That's why I bloody like it so much. And I feel like it also took me longer to apply it than it would with like a regular foundation brush. So it's kind of given me like the same overall finish, but it's taken me like two or three times the amount of time. I'm really not sure. I feel like even though I like it, it did kind of take me maybe two or three times as long as it would have done if I was applying foundation with my regular foundation brush. And the finished result is pretty much exactly the same. So I don't know. I think now what I'm gonna do is just take a contouring stick. This one's just from Iconic London. And I think it's in the shade four. And I'm just gonna apply this in the side of my cheeks and around my forehead and we'll see if it kind of works well for that so i'm going to do a little bit on the old jaw nose you guys know i never do this i never ever do this like that i think that's a bit, what was that what the hell have i done here okay so let's try this out for contouring so i'm just going to kind of buff it up and down i guess give it a little wiggle maybe little swirls Okay, that was quite quick. And that has blended it in really, really nicely. Stop bloody beeping at me. Go around my forehead, blend that bit out. And I'm just gonna quickly try this with just a regular buffing brush and see how long that takes to blend out. Similar motions, pretty similar amount of time. Let's go over that, and then this side here. Stop turning off on me. You know what, I'm actually gonna try this turned off to see what it's like just as like a regular brush. And just kind of like, just use it as a regular brush with like this weird ass handle. Okay, that actually, to be honest, that actually kind of blended it out exactly the same. Like, if I just kind of buff that around my face. Turtle, do the turtle. I'm not necessarily sure that the vibrating is necessary because I just kind of blended out my foundation kind of exactly the same without turning this on. Um, let's go in with the nose. This, this is probably gonna be an absolute mistake. Okay, no, the, no, the nose worked. The nose actually surprisingly worked. I thought this was gonna look atrocious, but it just kind of blended it out fairly easy. Underneath, I'm probably just like shoving these bristles right up my nostril right now. I do not like it for my nose. Okay, so it blended my contour out nicely, but I mean, it also blended my contour out nicely when I didn't even have the thing on. So I'm thinking maybe that's just kind of down to the brush and the whole like vibrating tactic isn't really necessary. I've also gone and gotten this thing absolutely minging already. I wonder if maybe I take a little bit of concealer and also try and blend that out because I have got a few little spots that I want to get rid of. Just try and like sharpen up my contour here. Um, like so. Look a little bit of highlighting, down in the old snores. And then also do a little bit of highlighting under my eyes. I am gonna use Bye Bye Under Eye in a minute, but I like to use that with my fingers. So I think I'm gonna do the same little experiment again, using it on this side, and then I'll turn it off and use it on this side, see if it, see if it looks any different. So I'm just gonna blend out that concealer there. And then just kind of like, just go under my eyes a bit as well. Quite nice for under my eyes. Um, and then do like half my highlighting here. Okay, turn it off. And then do the same on this side. 
Yeah, that's the same. Yeah, I feel like I just like the way that this brush applies my foundation. I feel like the vibrating part of this isn't actually doing anything. If anything, it's just making me want to sneeze when I go over my nose. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like I like this brush head, but I feel like maybe the whole vibrating part of applying it is a little bit of a gimmick because it doesn't really seem to look any different when I've got it on versus when I've got it off. So I don't really know what to think. I mean, if this was just like a regular brush with a regular handle, no vibrating and nothing like that, uh, for 32 pounds, would I go out and buy it? Probably not because I know that I can you know, pick up a brush like this or any other buffing brush really and get a very, very similar result, if not the same result. I do like it, but I just can't get over the whole like 32 pound price point. And then obviously, if you were looking at this just for applying foundation, you would have to go and buy the actual Clarisonic itself. I mean, I'm not knocking the Clarisonic at all. Like you guys saw, I literally just took it out of the box. So I have no idea how this will actually work for my skin for like cleansing purposes or whatever. But as a foundation brush, I do like it, but is it better than any other foundation brush I usually use? Probably not. So guys, I'm now gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup and go about my day. If you did enjoy this video and if you find it helpful, please do give it a big thumbs up because that really does help me out a lot. And also subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.